Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. This is an exciting day. You know, some days you wake up and you think, ooh, it's going to be a tough day. But this is one of those days I woke up and thought, yeah, it's great to be mayor in Conway. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to first start by recognize some of our elected officials and some of our special guests. Uh, I'd like to read they're not here, but uh, I would like to thank them for all their hard work with Senator John Bozeman, Senator Tom Cotton. Of course, Congressman French Hill is here. Our city council members, uh, Mark Ledbetter, David Grimes, Sheila Isby, Shelly Mell are here, Ann Tucker. Jeff Cullum from the Conway School District here, the superintendent. Kim Williams from the Downtown Partnership, Houston, and Jenny Davis from the University of Central Arkansas. Judge Ed Clawson, Laura, and Laura Grimes, and Jamie Gates from the Chamber, and Brett Carroll from the Conway Corporation. City Clerk Mike Garrett, and I think if, if I miss somebody, if you're a council member, please raise your hand. And I see Andy Hawkins stand back there. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Well, again, thank you for joining us here today. What we're here today to announce is that the City of Conway has been awarded one of the largest federal grants that we have ever received. And the great part about it is there's no match. This is 100% funded. Uh, and it's the, uh, the funds will go to the Conway Connect. And what we're going to do here is we're going to build a safe, equitable, and accessible transportation system through the investment of 15 miles of bikes and trails, uh, biking and trails through Conway. This will provide a transportation option for many connecting city parks, schools, our uh, institutions of higher education, our businesses, our employment centers, and our new aquatic center, indoor and outdoor center. It goes right by that. It goes through opportunity zones. It's really going to connect Conway. Most of Conway's bike and pedestrian infrastructure, as you know, has been in West Conway, and that's where it started back in the 90s. And the folks out east have always asked us, well, when are you, you going to show up out east? Well, we're coming. We're headed your way. We're headed to East Conway. This will provide a crucial link between the eastern parts of Conway and the west, providing better access to services and opportunity, and Conway taxpayers will get to see federal tax dollars spent and invested right here in Conway, Arkansas. In the part of town, East Conway, that's always asking, when's our turn? It's today. It's now. Pedestrian biking infrastructure is an economic driver. In the United States, it generates $133 billion annually. And in uh, tax revenue, it generates $18 billion annually. So this is going to be a, 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 an economic drive for our city. And it's, uh, I'm just so excited about it. There's so many people to thank who played a big part of this. And if you're here today and you helped in the process, please stand. Congressman, come on. <laughs> but I would also like to give a very special thanks to a group of people. Older woman, Shelly Mel, she was the, uh, uh, Shelly, when we were talking about this, as you know, Shelly and Peter are the king and queen, along with Eric and uh, Tara of the biking community. And so she was, she was, she really likes to ride me about biking, probably not as much as Peter, but Shelly does. I finally said, fine, do you want to head this up? Will you head it up? She said, yes. So she took the ball and ran with it. Uh, and uh, Shelly, I really appreciate that. But James Walden, Robbie Alberson, Kurt Jones, Felicia Rogers, Finley Vincent, Aaron Knight. Uh, they did this under a very constrained time frame. They spent long hours, uh, sometimes after dark, getting this put together and getting it turned in. And uh, guys, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, we couldn't pull this off without you. And from there, I would like to introduce one of the big players in this, Mr. Robbie Alberson, our grants writer. Robbie, come on up. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, as the City of Conway Grant Administrator, uh, my job is to coordinate uh, the research and identification of potential sources of grant funding. I also am tasked uh, with writing grant applications, managing deadlines, conducting trainings, submitting reports, and serving basically as a liaison between the city and uh, granting agencies. I started with the city in June of 2021, and I was introduced to the Department of Transportation's RAISE grant, and consequently, Connect Conway. Throughout the past year of working on the application, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the city. 
I learned a lot about Connect Conway, and I learned a lot about the valuable partnerships and stakeholders who helped tremendously with this application. Putting together a U.S. Department of Transportation raise grant application is not a one-person job. It's not even a five-person job. Um, this grant takes community involvement. It takes supporters. It takes advisory councils. It takes city leadership support, engineers, and uh, it also takes close partnerships <clears throat> with city department staff who are fully committed to developing the best application possible. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone who made a, a challenging grant application process into a less difficult and collaborative process. This process was hard, and we had a short time frame um, <clears throat> to put together the application, but having a good team and devoting those many hours of hard work allowed us to produce a great application. So those who helped with the development of this application and made my job much easier uh, were James Walden, were Aaron Knight, Kurt Jones, Kyle Kelly, and Felicia Rogers. This was kind of the close team who helped with the grant application process. And, um, and they just took everything that the stakeholders and supporters provided and we refined it into an award-winning grant proposal. So I also want to thank our mayor and our city council. Uh, without your leadership and support in this endeavor, um, we couldn't have done it. So Connect Conway is a project that will truly be transformative for the city. It will provide a safe, accessible, and equitable system for those living, working, and even visiting our city here. I am so fortunate to be part of this initiative, and I look forward to finding more opportunities in the future that will help us leverage funds and better our community. So thank you. And now we will have remarks from James Walden, our Director of Planning and Development. I feel like a kid waking up on Christmas morning. For a city planner, this is a dream come true. This is one of the types of projects that you only dream about getting to work on. And I'm beyond excited and hopeful for what Connect Conway is gonna mean for so many Conway residents for decades to come. The effects of this will reverberate again and again. This project isn't just a win-win, it's more like a win many, many, many times over. It's gonna be a transf transformational investment in quality of life for Conway residents that will help us attract future residents to our community. It's gonna help us protect sensitive natural resources like Little Creek, which is a major source of damaging sediments that are going into Lake Conway. For folks that can't or don't want to drive, uh, the project will create real and safe transportation options to places that people actually want to go. Uh, school children in many parts of our town will have safe routes to walk or bike to school, to their neighborhood schools. And universities and employers will be given an important recruitment tool to help them attract and keep emerging talent right here in Congress. And I have to thank the mayor uh, for his leadership on this, his willing to take a chance on pursuing a, sort of this big dream project. We all probably in honesty thought that this would never happen, uh, but here we are today. Uh, and I'd also like to thank and introduce Council Member Mel. She served as our, our sort of council liaison for this project. Uh, she really rolled up her sleeves, got in there, got to work, embedded with our team, and really played a very crucial role in helping shape this project. So thank you. Thank you, James, and, and all the staff who were involved in making this grant what it was and what it is for Conway. You know, whether it was named Tiger, Build, or Raise, we've heard them all, um, Conway persisted in our efforts to improve the trail systems in our community. So I guess third time's a charm. Um, our Connect Conway project meets and exceeds all of the requirements including some of the new ones, which included climate change, racial equity, and removing barriers. To make sure that we checked all those boxes, Mayor Castleberry authorized this working group that included partner organizations, along with everyday citizens, and the group went to work. 
Just about a year ago, those of you who are part of the group, remember we took a walking tour on where we were going to expand. It was just as hot and humid as it is today uh, when we did that. Uh, but we also hosted online meetings, face-to-face -face meetings, um, and did a social media campaign to gather those ideas. So we got a lot of great input. And from all of that came just wonderful new insights, changes, and a commitment to making this project the best it could be. Many of those people are here today. And so if you were part of the working group, would you stand up? I see Lynn and some others. Come on, you guys. Stand up, stand up. They're going to be shy. Well, Lynn will stand up. Um, but, they, but they represent all of the organizations, many of which you see behind me, um, that needed to be part of that process. I'm convinced it was that community involvement that made our grant proposal better. It builds on our previous infrastructure. It connects uh, East Conway to schools and parks. And it's also going to connect with Metro Plan's regional greenway. All of those things um, are going to make this project just transformational for Conway. I just want to thank everybody who's been part of it, just like the mayor did. Thank you, Mayor Castlebert, for sticking with us. Um, and now it is my pleasure and honor to introduce our U.S. Representative, Brent Hill. Well, this is one of those days where it's easy to be a congressman. They're few and far between. No, this is a great day for Conway. And for me, you know, part of my job is to be an evangelist for the pursuit of happiness. And when I see the work that Conway has put in place today, I'm so excited. And it brings me a lot of joy, whether we're talking about tiger, build, or raise. For almost five years, our team has worked with your team to perfect the Connect Conway project. And my hat's off to Mayor Castleberry and the city council and the planning team and the citizens who worked on it each time to have perseverance, to improve the design, to meet all the standards, to exceed those standards, and even to take a little risk. Because your mayor said, you know, I'm going to step back from this in the midst of the pandemic, and we're going to skip a year in application. And you really never know when you're dealing with the big federal government, you know, what the heck the impact of that's going to be. But I think it was a wise choice. And it allowed Conway to come back with even a more competitive grant application. And today, you're seeing the fruits of that planning and perseverance over all these four and a half years. And so my hat's off to the team. It's also really cool to come to Conway and not dedicate a roundabout. Now, I've got a personal affection uh, for trails because I've spent my life out on the trail. Uh, my whole life's been outdoors uh, in scouting. And when the Clinton Center picked the River Market District in Little Rock uh, to put the Presidential Library, this idea of a trail system there took root. But it was hard. And I served on the board of the Bicycle, uh, Bicycle Advocacy of Central Arkansas for 10 years to try to get that connectivity between the Clinton Center and Lock and Dam number seven, which was the beginning of what really has been an extraordinary recreational resource for the people in Little Rock. It took us almost an extra 10 years to get President Clinton to meet his $10 million promise on opening up his bridge right there at the library. But it came together through patience, perseverance, and advocacy. So today, as we celebrate East meeting West in Conway through Connect Conway, it is such a great day for the city, for your citizens, and Senator Cotton and Senator Bozeman and I were very proud along the way uh, to work with city government to help make this happen. And we're really, really proud of the city of Conway. And Mayor, we're proud of you and the council. Thank you for letting us be a part of your team. Okay, when I said this was a really big grant, when in, in city government, if, if we get a two or three million dollar grant, we're like, yes! So, I need a drum roll. Everybody. Brrr.
Thank you, Thank you. That's all we have today. We would have had cookies today, but we spent all our money on our sign. So, again, thank you all for being here. Come on up and look at the pictures, and thank you. That's right. We didn't put that in the grant. <laughs> okay. Come on up here. You guys. Come on, you guys. Hey, Sheila, council. Council, council. Council members, would y'all come David. up, please? David, Mark, come on. Hey, Lynn. David. Mark. David. David and Mark. Did Andy leave? No, I thought I saw him back. David and Andy. You know, Andy never comes on time. I'm trying to get their attention. Well done. Thank you. You too. Well, done. well hey, it was uh, a true team effort.